want to do your will. And I want to give my life fully to that. Not to money, not to a house, not even to another person, but to you, God. And I will serve as your priest. And that teaches, touches us all in the deepest part of our hearts that we want to do that in the vocation that we're called to. It's all on loan. In the end, we don't control anything. We don't have anything. We don't own anything. God calls us to give it back to Him. I was thinking about a person I know who's very unhappy and not so young. Very bitter. Very controlling. And I think a very big reason that is is when difficult things have happened in this person's life, they have tried to hold on to them. My husband has passed away. Difficult things have happened. They've hurt my children. Whatever that might be, the different things, the difficult things that can happen to us. And then we, we, we will not let that be taken away. We'll become bitter and we'll become controlling and try to control that. And that backs us up into a corner because that's the only response to that suffering and the things that happen in our lives. We have to release our husbands and wives, those who are closest to us, whatever that might be, back to God. Didn't God call Abraham to give up what was most precious to him, his son Isaac? And that's his call for us in our life, to give up what's most precious, if that's someone we know our very lives, to give it back to God. Otherwise, we become bitter and unhappy. It all belongs to God. And what is the payoff for this as we, we give to God and He asks for everything from us? Our being increases in the amount that we give it back to God. Our being increases in the amount that we give back to God. We become more in the image of His Son. And that is the being, the light of God in us. We become richer and joyful and more abundant people. We read about that in the second reading from Paul. He who did not spare his own son, if he would not spare his own son, what else, what else will he give you? That's what St. Paul says to us. We're all alone. Everything is from God. And he calls us to give it back to him. Even the difficult stuff, so that we won't become bitter and small and back up into a corner of unhappiness in our life. In a way that we can read into this payoff that God gives to us. Because Abraham was obedient, God said, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sea, the sands of the seashore. And as we give our lives to God, He will bless our lives and make it as countless as the stars of the sky and the sand of the seashore for others. And in us, because we have followed God, everyone will find blessing, the abundance, the richness, the beauty that God has given us because we've given it all back to Him. <laughs>